Uh, hello, welcome to my world of knowledge where we will calculate the area of a parcel of land. Again, this is a question paper and a land survey section for the July 2022 series for certificate. Let's go ahead and we we'll look at the question. So the question uh, goes by. Now, so question number six. Figure below shows a parcel of land with straight boundaries of BA B, C, and C, Y. And oh. Akavilia boundary, A, D. The offsets taken from the lines are given in the table 2. And the coordinates of B, C, X, and Y are in the table 3. By the use of trapezoidal rule, calculate the area in hectares. Uh, we can go ahead and observe Table 2, there we have been given distances from x to y uh, with an interval there. So the interval does not look... So the interval changes. Then we are given the offsets there. Uh, then we go back to table 3. Uh, we have our coordinates um, for all the points. So from point x, y, b, c. So the coordinates for the northing and the eastings. Oh, so those are the coordinates. Uh, we have been given there. Then our diagram is illustrated there in the question paper. First, we have to calculate the area of the irregular shape by the use of the trapezoidal rule. Referring to table 2, the distances from x and y have different intervals. Thus, we need to treat the areas differently also. The area of the first trapezium, yeah, that is the trapezium, the trapezoidal, is given by, so our area 1 will be equal to the uh, ordinate 1 plus ordinate 2 divided by 2 times the distance between them. And this is done to all the others and noting where the difference changes to use a different interval apart from the 5 meter interval. So here we'll do the uh, area of the irregular shape uh, for area 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 as illustrated there. Uh, and we'll have our total. Uh, we move to our last area, uh, which is found under the diagram BXYC, having the coordinates as shown. Uh, under that, the method uh, which we can use, uh, that will be the method of the area by coordinates. Uh, according to the diagram that we have been given there, so uh, our table uh, was not arranged well. So in our diagram, uh, we are moving from point X, Y, C to B. So the first thing you need to correct that table. So you can demonstrate that by uh, drawing another table which will aid you to do a more correct uh, calculation uh, having done that so you will repeat that table uh, starting with point x to y to c to b so the b and c will uh, interchange because the diagram as shown in there uh, the diagram as shown there uh, will give you a different thing from the table so we are going with the diagram because that will give you uh, a more correct answer so having done that uh, let me illustrate uh, demonstrate that in a tabular format so having five columns uh, the first uh, section will be for the station uh, the second will be for the northing the third will be the uh, easting which is found on the station that is after then the Next will be the easting found on the station which is before. Then in our last, we'll uh, subtract both the eastings and multiply it by the nothing to get our answer. 
so uh, i have illustrated that well in the uh, table found there so let's start with station x uh, in x we are going to write the nothing of x as provided to us uh, in the table that we have just made so the correction of table 3 so our nothing will be provided there uh, in our third uh, column will be the easting uh, for the station which is found after x and that station will be y so there you go ahead and you write the uh, easting for station y uh, in our next column we are going to write the easting for the previous station uh, that station is b and then uh, having done that uh, in our last column uh, we find the difference in both the eastings that we had uh, written there then our answer we multiply it by the nothing uh, having finished that we go ahead and we do the same for y where we have a nothing and we write the easting of the point that is found after y that will be c and then we again write the easting uh, in the next column for the point that is found before y and that is x then we do the same we minus the eastings and we multiply by the nothings so this is a shortcut so this is the easiest way in which you can calculate uh, the area from the coordinates so the same will be done uh, the same will be done to c and point b uh, after having done that uh, after which if our total so the summation of the total if we found a negative we'll assume it uh, after assuming we'll divide by 2 having divided by 2 we'll have gotten the area of bxyc uh, finally we add both the areas from the uh, calculation that we had done earlier for the irregular shape and the rectangular shape uh, which we have done now uh, getting our answer our final answer in hectares uh, thank you uh, a link will be provided below for the question uh, and the pdf of the calculation thank you